at Scottsdale Airport. It's a little quiet out there as of right now. But we're gonna go uh, get a status report on the Green Hornet. Status update. Ah! Looks like it's uh, kind of midway through its uh, annual. We're gonna go check out the guys here at Keystone Aviation and uh, see what's going on with the airplane. So let's go take a look. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. All right, guys, here at uh, Keystone Aviation, these guys are fantastic. They just went over the uh, annual as it's progressing right now um, on what they're looking at and what they're doing. Um, just a, a, a great way to kind of find out what's going on with your airplane. Uh, airplane, they say, is actually really good. A couple of little things here and there. Um, we do need some more brakes. Our brakes are getting worn. I blame Sam. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Not Sam. Maybe a little sin. <laughs> oh, I mean, come on, man, come on. But uh, anyways, getting the brakes done. As you can see, the uh, engine is taken apart. We do need to replace some filters in there. It's Arizona, it gets really dusty out here. Um, the props off, as you can see, there, there is a governor that they uh, saw was leaking, so they tightened that up. And they regapped a lot of the spark plugs in there, actually every single one of them. And basically, that's exactly what the airplane looks like. It's not often you get the uh, cowl off, but uh, there you go. Got the exhaust system. Here's one of the turbos on there. The turbo is on the other side as well. We've got, uh, man, we've got everything here. We've got some magnetos here. We've got alternate, man, you've got, got your oil filter back in there. now. I'm always impressed with mechanics because I, how do you get back there and get that oil filter you know like my big hand can't fit back there so anyways uh yeah this is what the airplane looks like when it's taken apart when it's going through an annual um thank goodness uh you know it is a new airplane we do get the annual covered on this one with cirrus thank you cirrus and, uh, but there are some things that they don't cover like consumables and you know, kind of minor things. We'll get together and we'll let you guys know how much this annual cost. <laughs> Hopefully not too much, but uh, the most important thing that it is safe. And uh, again, these guys at Keystone have been, have been doing a really good job keeping us up to date on what's going on with the airplane and some of the things that we need to get fixed. A uh, little minor stuff, we had a latch. Um, actually on the inside, this latch was, uh, pretty hard to close and it actually was an issue for us uh, for my wife when she thought she closed it on a takeoff and the door didn't completely come open it opened up a little bit but you know it kind of scares you you know the wind is rushing in and all that good stuff so yeah so anyways we got that fixed another thing that was kind of that our squawk uh, the last flight we had a pitot tube issue so they've got that taken apart right now they said it's a, a sensor issue, so they're getting that replaced as well. Um, that's kind of one of the squawks that we had. Uh, the brakes on the other side have been done uh, fairly recently. There, there is the brake pad there. But uh, it was done fairly recently, um, but their recommendation is to replace both of them at the same time. Uh, that one has about a quarter left of braking. So we'll see. As you can see, that's a brand new tire that we just had done on there and that was on its last uh i think 50 hour we had uh we had it inspected and replaced that the tire on the other side looks pretty decent here you go seats out so obviously getting the seat out getting some room for those guys to work in uh pretty good deal they take apart all the uh inspection plates do a big inspection on the airplane um we're catching it probably three to four days into the inspection so they tend to open the, the airplane up do the entire inspection process and then they start working on squawks so a lot of the plates are back on the inspection plates um, they've only left off a couple of things so they can uh, work on it like our ELT uh, there's a a coating thing with our ELT in there that uh, well, it was mismatched, so they're gonna figure that out and get that proper, properly set. So, a um, couple other things. 
In here, you got the oxygen bottle. Here is what makes Cirrus a Cirrus. Well, kinda. It's their claim to fame, I guess. But here's the, uh, I call it the ejection seat for the airplane. It's the uh, parachute, how it's rigged in there. So that is pretty much it for that inspection side. You know, again, uh, you can always tell a really good shop by how well they take care of your airplane. Um, they put down these little plastic deals to keep the airplane nice and protected as they do their inspections and they do their, their maintenance on the airplane. So uh, I really appreciate that. You know, it's an expensive airplane. <laughs> you want to keep it, uh, you want to keep it looking nice, right? Like look good, feel good. So checking out a little bit of the cables. Um, talk like I know what they're inspecting. I don't know what they're inspecting, but <laughs> inspection plates off. They're inspecting something, making sure that, you know, when you put your family on there, it's going to be good to go. Here's another thing that I look at too, honestly, when I uh, put my airplane into um, any kind of maintenance is actually looking at the maintenance facility. Um, I know when my daughter went off to UND, I was judging UND by, you know, the overall, the overall campus and experience and all that good stuff. But um, I wanted to make sure that the airplanes were safe and I want to see how the maintenance was. And the one good thing about a maintenance facility when it is as clean and picked up and organized as this maintenance facility is, you just feel good about it. So uh, I feel good about these guys. They've been doing, uh, obviously they're a Cirrus authorized service center, so they know what they're doing. Here with Keystone, um, he's been super fantastic. These guys at Keystone Aviation taking really good care of the airplane. I just kind of wanted to ask him, the guy who knows what goes into an annual and what is it all about? So for an annual, the first thing we do is an incoming run, check all the power settings, uh, look for leaks after we bring the airplane in, uh, do a compression check to make sure you've got good uh, compression on your cylinders, check the spark plugs, do the miscellaneous checks that uh, Continental calls out. We open the airplane up, look at the exterior, look at the interior panels that they call out, do an avionics check, and then at the end we will or we'll also jack it up check the brakes, brake pads, and uh, look at the, at the bearings for uh, verification the bearings are in good shape. Then we start uh, working off the discrepancies, close everything back up, and go to a final uh, check, and then send them on the way. Well, that's, that's good stuff, because I didn't know that either. So it's actually kind of nice to know what's happening with your airplane. You know, every airplane's different, right? Mm -hmm. Every, like this is Cirrus, uh, you know, Cessna probably does something different. Piper does something different. You guys have a checklist that you got to run Absolutely. on all these inspections uh, just to make sure they're hitting every single one. So each airplane is different, but uh, I highly recommend you guys always go out and talk to your mechanics. Uh, they are the ones that are keeping you safe and your family safe. So make sure you go talk to them. They're great people. Uh, and again, if you've got a serious, you're here in Scottsdale area, come see Keystone Aviation. These guys are awesome. So thanks, Ray. All right, Ray. All right. thanks it. a lot, Ernie. Yeah. We'll talk to you later. All right, guys, uh, something quick this week. I know you guys were curious about the annual and how it's going. It is going well. Uh, hopefully Green Hornet be up here in the next few days and uh, they're gonna do some engine runs on it pretty soon and start putting everything back together and hopefully getting those parts for the a few little warranty items. We had a little bit of a, a bent uh, plastic in there and they, a couple other minor things, little minor things. So overall, uh, great experience um, on the annual. Now, of course, I haven't gotten the bill yet, but overall, it's been it's been good. These guys have been great. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will see you at the airport in the air. Keep keep hustling out there. It's uh, it's a busy time right now. I just got done doing interviews uh, today. I'll be doing them all week. It's awesome seeing you guys out there. Uh, you know, interviewing, trying to get those jobs and moving up. So. All right, guys, stay humble, stay hungry, keep flying. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next week. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up.